What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another VGC 2022 Showdown Live. Today, I'm going to be testing a team that I think might be pretty okay. I don't know. Obviously, like I just kind of threw this together, um, did a couple of calcs, but you know, I still have to optimize it to see if uh, it'll be worth running in tournament or anything. But I'm going to be trying out this uh, double weather team. Now, historically, double weather has always been pretty good. Uh, we even saw uh, Kyogre plus Torkoal and Venusaur win a major tournament before. Uh, so I figured might as well take that to the extreme and run a Groudon on it. But if you guys enjoyed this video on the point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. That's my comment question of the day. What weather do you think is going to be the best in this format? Do you think it's going to be, you know, sun, rain, or are you going to be crazy and be like, yeah, man, hail, you know, hail has, hasn't been good since 2017, but trust me, this is hail's season. We're going to do it. But yeah, uh, I guess <laughs> if you want to make that opinion, go ahead. Um, but also before we get into the video, do me a favor. If you guys haven't joined my discord, uh, not only does it give you updates for when I post videos and go live on Twitch, but also I want to try to get as many... <laughs> artists in there as I can because these backgrounds are all from like Google images and I think it'd be fun if I just showcased your art in the background of my showdown lives. Um, there is an art channel if you guys want to post there. So yeah, the link to that's going to be in the description down below as well as the link to my Patreon and everything else. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the team. This is a very bad Groudon. It's a very bad Groudon because it is <laughs> super fast uh, and Groudon doesn't need this much speed. But in this situation, I figured it might be a good idea to run like a Jolly Groudon. Uh, basically, I'm running White Herb Jolly Groudon with uh, Precipice Blades, Rock Slide, Protect, and Sword Stance. And it's 143 speed because that is enough speed to outspeed my Kyogre. Meaning that if I lead off Groudon Kyogre, uh, the rain's always going to go up second. So the sun won't be lowering the damage output of a water spot from Kyogre, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I'm, I'm running White Herb because this thing's even more weak to intimidate than it would be otherwise. So I kind of need it. We're running a modest... Uh, Life Orb, G-Max Venusaur with Weather Ball, Leaf Storm, Protect, Sludge Bomb. I could probably get some really fun uh, Max Geysers off with this guy, which would be really funny, uh, considering I have dual weather. Um, obviously, Leaf Storm turns into G-Max Vine Lash, the most broken move in the game. And we're not running Sleep Powder because there is a Coco on this team. And honestly, I don't like clicking Sleep Powder. It's really annoying, and it sometimes feels like it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, like missing it's also just awful. So you might as well just go full offense on this guy. Uh, we have an Assault Vest Coco. He can take a plus one, uh, what's it called? Behemoth Blade from Jolly Max Attaxation. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Electro, Volt Switch. I might Dynamax this guy in like a, a rain matchup because he could be really good. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. He's just kind of meant to take hits and he's faster than Genies. The Genie is just a standard Tornadus, but this time we're running Weather Ball on it to take advantage of both the Max Geyser and Max Flare that we could use with it. And our final Pokemon is a Paschal Berry, G-Max Charizard, which can take one Water Spout from Kyogre in the rain, uh, and he'll be able to hit it back with a Max Airstream, which is really, really nice. And if we send in our own Groudon and then Max Airstream it, uh, since we should be outspeeding non-Scarf Kyogre and non-Tailwind Kyogre, that'll be doing quite a bit of damage, and then um, the Sun will allow our Groudon to live that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some games. I haven't tested this team much, if at all, really. I think I did like two games. Uh, and I won one and I lost one. I figured we might as well record. So yeah, uh, for all I know, this team's absolute garbage. Hopefully it's not though. And I do have to apologize. I am a little bit congested today, so I'm going to try not to sniff on camera. But yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, this team kind of hates Groudon. It's got a few options for beating it. Obviously, Max Palkia can go for the uh, Max Warm Wind to lower my attack. Uh, but more than anything, it really hates Venusaur. That damage output, like, right off the bat could be really nice for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with... Um, Actually, I think I get more out of Charizard in this game. Do I get more out of Charizard? Yeah, because I can probably just one-shot this thing. And the only thing not taking residual damage is the, um, <laughs> the Incineroar. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to lead off Charizard and Kyogre. Because it's a little bit of flexibility on lead if they, you know, lead off with uh, this thing and something that... I guess if they lead off with, like, um, Palkia plus Incineroar. Or, like, Palkia... Or Incineroar plus Lando. That lets me do more, more damage with the Kyogre then. Uh, obviously, I want the Groudon in the back. And I think my last Mon here... Um, Coco is going to be really nice just for preventing sleep. And the Assault Vest could be really clutch versus this Palkia. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. 
So end up leading off with Palkia in Cineroar. Uh, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about this? Okay, so more than likely my Kyogre is going to get faked out here and they're going to want to go for a Trick Room. So what I can do is... Do I Dynamax my like Incineroar immediately, or my, my Kyogre like immediately? And then just like send out the Coco to make sure I don't lose to Amoongus? I could do that. that, that might not be terrible. I could also just go for a Hurricane for damage in the Palkia. You know, I'm going to do that. This seems stupid, but trust me, this is going to be the play. Okay, they send out P2. Maybe it wasn't the play. Okay, they Dynamaxed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Confusion? No? Okay. Good damage. I think we're going to prevent the Trick Room, like, outright. Uh, I can set up my Tapu Coco here, because now I can click, like, Dazzling Gleam super, super safely. And I'll go for my Max Geyser into the Porygon 2 once again. And the one thing I don't want to do is send out my Groudon prematurely. Obviously, Groudon can lower the damage output of my Kyogre, um, and that wouldn't be very poggers for me. Yep, there it is. I'm going to send out the Charizard once more. Basically, I'm, I'm like avoiding sending out Groudon until I absolutely have to. There's the Zacian. Um, this is where I send it out. This is, this is the turn I send it out. I'm going to go for a Heat Wave and I'm going to send out my Groudon. Because they're just going to Behemoth Blade my Kyogre. And I should outspeed a Palkia since I'm timid. I'm going to end my Dynamax early. Get some good damage here. There's the sub. Okay. And I am Pasha Berry, so I tank that. Nice. Okay. Groudon should be faster than this Palkia, so... What I can do here is Heat Wave will break the sub of the Zacian, I think. And then I can pick up the KO with um with Prespice Blades. And I'm gonna lose one or the other of these Pokemon. Hopefully it's I'd rather lose the Charizard to be honest, but it's probably not gonna be Charizard. Let's go for the Heat Wave and let's go for the P Blades. He kinda has to choose one of these. Like if he subs, right? Then he doesn't take anything beyond like one of my Pokemon. But if it Behemoth Blades, it's probably going to take both. Uh, but I think that's fine as long as I connect. I think I can win this. Yeah, I think I can win this, right? Because if I can connect the Thunder and that Palkia, it's pretty much game. Let me protect here. He might Trick Room. In fact, I think he should Trick Room. Obviously, Fake Out's going to come out here. There's no reason not to. All right, no Trick Room. The Spatial Rens, okay. I'm modest max speed. This thing's probably Trick Room, so I can Thunder here and KO it. And that is game. Water Spout should do the trick from this range. Uh, and he just doesn't have enough damage output to really beat this thing. Nice. GG. Cool. That was a pretty decent first match. We got to see the dual weather actually doing something kind of cool. What I really want to do is click a Max Geyser with my freaking Venusaur. I think that'd be funny. Alright, this is interesting. Um, Groudon could go absolutely crazy here, but do I want to do that? You know what, to be honest, I think the Charizard is going to go crazy. I'll lead off with, um, I think I can go with the... How do I do this? Okay. Okay, okay. I think I know what I do. I'm gonna go Coco Charizard. I'm gonna bring the Groudon in the back. And my last Mon, do I go Kyogre or do I go like Tornadus? I think I go Kyogre just because Kyogre's like amazing. Alright, yeah, this is uh this is great. I'm just gonna immediately get my <laughs> my blast burn off. Uh, I can also just get rid of Jinx right off the bat rather than deal that damage. Actually, maybe I Volt Switch. No, I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm going to Volt Switch in case they go into Kyogre, uh, because that will let me get the, the weather off second. And this thing's probably weakness policy, so I'm going to avoid hitting it until I break in that multi-scale. Yep, that's fine.
There's the Quake. It doesn't KO me. And now they're probably going to go into their Kyogre. Which is fine, because like I said, I am running Pasho Berry, and I can um, go for this Max Airstream. There it is. Uh, I should outspeed this guy, unless they're timid. I want to say... I want to say they're not timid. Actually, what is Lucas max speed? Or what is Lucas speed stat? 110? I had no idea it was 110. I thought it was like 100. Yeah, I mean, I should outspeed this thing if it's not timid, which I would assume they're like modest or bulky at the very least, but we are on low ladder, so for all I know, they're just running a bad set. They could also be Scarf Ogre, which would be the worst. <laughs> That's like the worst possible outcome. All right, awesome. I'm gonna get my max airstream off. And now I'm guaranteed faster uh, with both of my mods, so I can just max airstream and go for my P blades. And that should KO this Kyogre pretty much guaranteed. I mean, as long as I connect, obviously, which is kind of a big if. They try to double protect, get that damage. Connect the P-Blade, please. I missed. Uh, end of the world? Yes? No? I'm gonna say no, because that G-Max Wildfire is busted. Please let your last mod be Rillaboom. Something sad like that, please. Yeah, they just forfeit. I'm gonna say it was Rillaboom. <laughs> I'm gonna say it was Rillaboom, considering I have dual weather here. Nice. Okay. Ooh, okay. This is this is gonna be like some coaching stuff. I guarantee you this is some coaching stuff. And uh I'm not I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm gonna say that I can lead off with like uh I should be able to lead off with like Charizard and Tornadus and be like fine. Cause I can just eliminate this thing before I can get its before I can get going. Um Kyogre in the back's gonna be amazing. Yeah, because like G-Max. Wildfire off a of Blast Burn should one-shot it before he can do anything. Um, Kyogre in the back will let me beat, like, literally everything else. And I think my last one's gonna be Groudon. Uh, just because Groudon's goaded. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Like I said, I should be faster than this thing. Um, let me protect here on the fake out. And I can just max airstream this thing right away. And it might not KO, but it'll still be worth it. Because it's guaranteed damage on whatever comes out. Mainly, I want to stop that Zamazenta from being able to coaching this thing. Because that'll be a huge nuisance for me. And this thing's base speed is like 90. So. Nice. It's a jack button? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Because I'm still going to get this GMAX Wildfire off. Incredible. Now, they did max Airstream, which means that at the moment, this Amazenta will be faster than me. But I can prevent that, and this is my Blast Burn. That will KO the Amazenta. There's, like, no chance it lives this. This is the most busted move in the game. Unless it's, like, max special defense, in which case, I've been nade -aid. That's still fine. Uh, the, like, the fact that I get my Tailwind off is what matters here. It max Airstream and KO my Tornadus. At this point, I go into my Groudon. And like I said, it's about getting rid of Zamazenta more than anything. Like, the, the ho -Oh just loses to Kyogre in the end. Uh, let me protect here, because they're likely just going to go for their their move that one-shots me, the <laughs> max flare. Um, 156. Uh, if they're, they're probably not max speed. You don't run, like, max speed ho -Oh. You just don't. So if they do go for the Max Flare here, I should outspeed it the next turn, under Tailwind. They Max Airstream, which, that's fine, I guess, that's fine. Kind of wish I had Weather Ball on this Charizard now, because I could absolutely nay, -nay him with, uh, <laughs> with Weather Ball um, in the rain. There's your Sphere Rapid Strike. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Kyogre here and Hurricane this guy. And that should guarantee a KO, um, because after the Wildfire, he'll go down. They detect. I think that's fine by me. Um, 
I can go for the water spout for damage. Or actually, thunder does more at this point. Yeah, 40.8. Yeah, thunder does more at this point. So I'm going to thunder you. Uh, and like I said, hurricane's my play versus the Urshifu. Ooh, the Aqua Jet could KO me. Actually, no, I'm Pasho Berry, so I live that. Just barely, though. <laughs> Just barely. Uh, yeah, let me thunder this thing. Hurricane. Thank you, Pasho Berry. You're the best. Nice. And I think I'm in a winning position because I can just click like water spout. Even though it's in the sun, it'll do it. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, Ice Beam will do it from here. So Ice Beam, Rock Sled. What? <laughs> WTF? Pasho goaded. GG. You was like, what? Why are you running Pasho Berry? Because I got a Charizard on rain, dude. All right. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's not too salty about Pasho. All right. This is kind of cool. I haven't seen Zacian plus Lunala yet. Uh, obviously, Defiant Thunderous would be really annoying if I had an Intimidate user, but I do not because I'm bad at this game. Uh, and I think what I'll do here is he doesn't have much for the Tornadus Charizard lead. Obviously, Regieleki could be really bad, but I want to say he's Magnet Regieleki um, as a cope, purely as a cope, because if he's not, I'm in a bad position. I'm going to go ground on here in the back. That's like my best option versus this whole team. And as, a, as my last Pokemon, mm, as my last Pokemon, I think I go Kyogre. Yeah. All right. Let's see if my cope pays off. Please, please don't let it be the worst cope of my life. Uh, Tailwind, I'm going to go for my G-Max Wildfire right off the bat. And if I can get rid of this Regieleki, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be a phenomenal thing for me. See, Dynamaxes. I'm Dynamaxing. I'm Tailwinding. I should outspeed this guy unless he's Scarf. And yes! <laughs> Yes. Okay, I'm dead. But I got it. <laughs> I got rid of it before it could be that big of an issue. Uh, and now I have Tailwind. And I can go right into my Kyogre, actually. Yeah, no. Because I can, like, Weather Ball, like, everything. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Um, my body is telling me he's going to Wide Guard. Something something in my, in my body is saying... Marcos, he's going to wide guard. Don't fall for it. Um, but also wide guard's kind of bad. So I I want to believe he's not. In this situation, it's in my best interest to weather ball and he's just going to max lightning me. I I might live it behind protect. I hope weather ball plus thunder KOs this guy. He didn't wide guard. I could have just absolutely annihilated him. Well, that's a throw if I've ever seen one. Good job, Marcos. Good job, Marcos Boosted. Amazing, amazing job. Uh, luckily, I can just Weather Ball on Rock Slide here, and that might do it. It's going to be pretty close. <laughs> it's going to be pretty close, and I do have a Sash, so I like have some pretty guaranteed damage here. I, I, I Actually, no, I can't do that now that I think about it. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I think, I hope, I pray. If his last Pokemon Zacian, that's really good for me. Um, that's not great. That's not, that's not Poggers. I missed the Lunala, which sucks. But Lunala goes down to, to the Wildfire, that's great. Um, and yeah, no, I just have to connect a Rock Slide and a Weather Ball. I think I win. Yeah, um, I double protect, because then I'll be slower than the Zacian. Because obviously I still have my Tailwind up. And we have four turns of Sun, so I have a lot of chances to connect a Weather Ball, and that thing is dead next turn. So I'm going to say that's just a W for Marcos. Unless he substitutes, in which case uh, I have to connect the Precipice Blades, but that's still not the end of the world. Still, still not the end of the world. 
Nice. Okay. Weather Ball will do it. Good job, me. Honestly, like that that wildfire, I thought Venusaur would be the, the star, but so far it's been the Charizard. Sick. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm texting my girlfriend right now. Give me a sec. Yeah, no big deal, guys. I'm just a... I'm just a, a Pokemon player with a girlfriend. I know, it's crazy, right? There are like six of us. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was kind of cool. Oh god, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, Pikachu? I haven't seen you since the war. Um. I mean... Charizard go crazy? Like, perhaps? I could, I could like Tailwind Max Guard and then on the next turn get in my Groudon and annihilate that thing. I think that might be what I have to do. I could lose to this, like unironically, like this, this could be really bad for me if I play this poorly. Which truth be told, I definitely am. Oh, what am I saying? No, I'm fine. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. He's just gonna like Tailwind. <laughs> uh... He's gonna like Tailwind and click his bad move. And I can get the speed advantage if I max Airstream right now. And I'm gonna max Airstream into the Whimsicott. Because if he taunts me this turn, at the very least, I get some good damage. And he is Eject Button. Hello. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> oh, he Trick Roomed. Uh, that's fine, I think. I hope. Probably not. Yeah, there's there's the ogre. Uh, <laughs> yikes! Yikes! Uh, how do I do this? I did just tailwind, and that's not great. The Indeedy is likely going to be faster than this guy. He might be slower. He's probably slower actually. Uh, so it'll force me up before I have to take the hit and I can get in like my own Kyogre. My main concern is my Tornadus has to eat a hit here, which isn't great. So I'm just going to try to get off this G-Max Wildfire in the DD. It might seem weird clicking G-Max Wildfire in the rain, but I kind of have to. Just for the residual damage. And as you can see... Oh, he crits me. That's great. I could have kept this guy. Whatever. I didn't want him anyways, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go for my Thunder here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for my Thunder and my Hurricane. That kind of sucked. <laughs> I was guaranteed to live that thing and get my... Oh wait, no, the Pasho Berry's gone. I'm stupid. So I was gonna die anyways. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's alright. That's Poggers. Poggers. Alright. I mean, Thunder plus Hurricane should KO this guy. Unless he, like, Thunder plus Expanding forces me. Which he doesn't. He's just gonna go for the double spread move. And he crits me. Yay. Yay. Got, let's all clap. Let's all clap. I got crit twice. Okay. Uh, I have to crit him now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. GG. GG. Uh, I had a chance there had that not happened because I would have taken the expanding force and then I would have thundered him and he would have been at pretty low health. So that, that you know, that, 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 that's just a thing. That's just a thing. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I think we faced this guy already. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did, and um, Kyogre went crazy versus him, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go Kyogre again. And I think I'm going to do Kyogre, I'm just going to do like the same thing I did last time, I think. Um, yeah, like that That worked out pretty well. As it goes Palkiization, obviously this could be kind of bad for me. If I wasn't the absolute best, you know. I don't mind him getting a Trick Room off because my Groudon should... I'm probably not going to be slower, but should be fine. And I can get the GMX Wildfire off, which is really all that matters in this matchup. Like, realistically speaking, that's all that matters. And I don't know if he takes this. I might be able to prevent the Porygon 2 from, like, doing anything. Oh, I might have just prevented the Porygon 2 from, like, doing anything. Yeah, I prevented the Porygon 2 from doing anything. That's awesome. He max quaked me as well. Yeah, G-Max Wildfire is busted. There's like one fire type per team maximum. And if it's if it's in Cinema, it doesn't like Groudon. There's the Among Us. 
Uh, I should be faster than this Palkia, so I can just P-Blades, and I'm just going to once again GMX Wildfire. There's no point in air streaming, truth be told, because uh, this thing's likely going to be... Maybe I can airstream, and that'd be, like, advantageous, because then I can outspeed the Palkia in a turn or two. But that also relies on me landing the P-Blades follow-up. Whereas I could just get the KO outright. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for the airstream. I'm going to go for the airstream. That's fine. Because now I'm faster than the Zacian when it comes out. And I get some decent damage off. You know, as far as Dynamax mods go. And now... Now I feel pretty good. Um, okay. I think my play here is going to be to Prespice Blades and Max Airstream the Palkia. Because that... Does that KO? It probably doesn't KO. But I think the damage is worth it. That's fine, because I get rid of this thing. Uh, and he's only going to be able to get rid of one of my Pokemon. It's probably going to be the Charizard, but I still have a lot of tools for dealing with him. Specifically Tapu Koko, which is going to come in clutch here. Uh, because all I have to do is click P-Blades and Dazzling Gleam. Actually, Electroweb is better, because P-Blades plus Electroweb should do it if I connect. And that's a big if, I hate saying that. But that uh, if I connect this, um, yeah, nice. I was going to say, if I connect this Electroweb, which I didn't, oddly enough, I missed the Electroweb and not the P-Blades, uh, then Kyogre would come in and win, so that's game. GG. Nice. Okay. Let's do one more. I got time for one more battle. Ooh, okay. Um... Wet dog, swordfish, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. It definitely hates Venusaur. <laughs> if I can get this Venusaur in the field, things are going to be really bad for him. So I think I'll do here is... I'll go Venusaur Coco, Groudon in the back. And I could bring Kyogre as well, just because if I manage to get an Electroib off, Kyogre goes crazy. Um, Yeah, or do I want my Tailwind? Do I want my Tailwind here? That's the, that's the biggest question. Hmm. I think... Actually... Yeah, I'll go Kyogre, yeah. Okay. This is fine. Um, because I'm just going to Weatherball this Ferrothorn turn 1. And just pretend like, you know, everything's fine. And the reason I'm not Volt Switching the Kyogre is specifically because I really don't want to fall victim to Random Scarf. The Dynamax. I'm going to get rid of this Ferrothorn pretty early. At the very least, I get good damage, you know. Nice. So they go for the Hailstorm. That's fine. Um, I have Electroweb, so I can now Vine Lash and Electroweb. And that will allow me to outspeed. This also prevents, like, a possible Scarf. Nice. Uh, I'm going to say that Kyogre's pretty much gone. It might live this. Oh, wow. That is... that is that Assault Vest? That's that's Assault Vest. That is very Assault Vested. Oh, my... Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not panicking. You're panicking. All right. He's lowered in speed. I'm going to have to protect here in Water Spout. I'm going to say he wants to get rid of this Venusaur more than anything. As he's wild char- What is going on? What is happening? What did I do to deserve this? Alright guys, I'm going to say that was a pretty good showdown live. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes- Sometimes, you know, you just you just lose the best of one and you go, Man, I, I would have gotten him in the best of three and that's just- just saying you gotta do in Pokemon sometimes. Uh, yeah, that was Assault Vest Kyogre with uh, Wild Chardization. I don't know how... I don't know how I could have dealt with that other than uh, maybe getting him in the second game. But yeah, Pokemon's a good information and sometimes doing that will work out for you. So 
If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Also, I'm going to be experimenting with YouTube shorts. Uh, YouTube seems to like them, and I'm going to try to do some tiny, tiny content on the YouTube shorts. So yeah, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, join the Discord, do whatever. And once again, if you are an artist, join the Discord for sure and drop your art in the, in the fan art channel, and I'll use it in the background of my show on live. So yeah, have a nice one. Bye, guys.